Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how I've been sleeping out of this 2017 Tacoma for a year now. I, I think there's a lot of people out there that get, they're in a similar situation and they don't know how to go about it. And I think I've made a pretty good setup here, but it's there's still a bunch of changes that I'm making to this. So first modification or one of the first modifications I made to this and one of the best is adding a toolbox or a utility box of some sort. This truck has limited storage. I feel like that's the case with a lot of pickup trucks, especially the small ones. You got a few compartments inside, but for the most part, I realized immediately that this truck needs extra storage. So I thought about getting one of those big toolboxes that span the width of the whole bed, but I don't have shovels or anything like that that I'm carrying around. A lot of times I'm just throwing maybe boots, cold weather gear in there. Uh, there might be a few tools, extension cords that I use for work or something like that or whatever, extra gear I take to my property. Things that I just don't want in the cab. They just get in the way and they, they uh, I don't want in the cab. Uh, I also have a storage unit that I use as well for this situation, but it's slightly out of my way. So this helps me save time and money. You know, I'm not spending it in the gas to constantly go to my storage unit. But anyway, super excellent addition to this truck. As you can see, I put on the four by four, the treated four by fours on the bottom. And then with the cutoffs, I put the, the, the cutoff ends over here. And what that allows me to do for one, the metal bracket doesn't wear down the bed of the truck. And two, if you put these, the drops in the back and you kind of brace it up like this, it keeps it off the bed so that so that you can tilt this back and it doesn't, oops, trying to get in frame here, it doesn't hit the window, it keeps it off the window. So let's get started in the cab. I hope there's enough light here, but this is my bed. As you can see, how did I get so much space in here? The, the, this camera doesn't do it justice, but how did I get so much space in this truck? First thing I realized I need to do after sleeping on the back bench for way too long <laughs> the back aches and the the knee pains and stuff and you can't lay fully extended i started thinking about ways i can fully sprawl out i cannot sleep in the chairs where you recline it all the way I, I just can't sleep like that i need a flat surface so then i got to the point where i go all right nobody else is driving with me so why don't i just remove the passenger seat and the the bench in the back. You can remove the seats here. If you own one, they, they fold up like this and this part folds down. But I got to this point where I go, you know what, why don't I just remove all these seats? This truck has basically become my daily commuter, my camper truck and my work truck whatever like I, I use it for a lot of things and um but i don't have people driving with me so i would highly suggest if you can do this with your truck and, I, and it took five to ten minutes once you get the tools gathered it takes five to ten minutes to get all this stuff out take your passenger seat take the rear benches out you won't regret it if you're in a similar situation as i am in uh, it was literally four bolts on the passenger seat and three wires underneath. You have to disconnect. It's got like the airbags, the seat buckle alarm or whatever. It's starting to rain here. Hopefully I don't get a stuck in a downpour, but absolutely worth it. The whole cab just opens up. Then from there, I realized this creates like a big offset. So you can't lay lengthwise until you take off the bench or you make some sort of platform that rises up. But I ran into two issues. I tried to work with it by keeping the seats on, but uh, I created a platform to make it level across. 
The only issue I ran into is the dash right here. This dashboard, your feet will extend out and then your feet run into the dashboard. So then when you remove this bench here, I removed both sections on that side and this side. Maybe this is easier to come over here. Uh, it allows this whole bed to go down maybe four inches. Thus, allowing you to put your feet underneath the dash and you can literally sleep. I'm 5'9 and I, I can lay down completely extended in this bed. I can stretch out entirely and I feel completely comfortable. I'd say if you're maybe six foot, you won't fit. You might have troubles, maybe five, 11. It does get kind of close, um, but it is doable. I think maybe a six foot person would be able to sleep in here, but you'll have to take them out and find out for yourself. If a six foot, if, if you're six foot, I would take that out and that should be all the rest of the space you need. So that was one of the best modifications I made. I was sleeping on this bench here and that got old really fast. The, the big takeaway I want you all to see in this is how do you create space in such a small cab and, and you know, a cooped up area? How do you just open it up for everything you need for your day-to-day -day routine and living situation? And that's kind of what I want to focus on this video. I won't touch on all the little details and how I go about my routine, maybe another video. If you got questions, throw it in the comment section. I'll do my best at getting back to you. It might take me a little bit of time. I'm experimenting with this channel. I don't know where it will go. There's a lot I'd like to show, but um, I just gotta dive into it. It's really what it boils down to. I made this little wooden platform to put the clothing on. Ran these little lifts so you can drive around. It doesn't shift all around. So this is nothing fancy. I just slapped this together in 10 minutes. I just glued, threw a couple screws in, really simple, measured down to here, made it level, and it's been doing its job quite well. All right, the next thing I wanna to touch on that helps me sleep in the vehicle, and this was a concern of mine, was security, like concealing what is inside the vehicle and what I'm doing. I do not think that people expect you to be sleeping out. If they see this vehicle out in a, in a lot, a parking lot or something, the last thing they think is that somebody's sleeping in it. So the issue I ran into is I had one person, some meth head looking for money to buy some meth or whatever at like 3 a.m. They're yelling in my window asking for money. And this is before I got the window tint. I had no tint on the front windows and just a light factory tint on the rear windows. So I went with a 5% tint on the side windows here and on the rear cab windows there. So I did it all around, but I didn't do anything to the windshield. But I do think it was a great investment there are some things I don't like about the tent. If I ever not, if I ever stop sleeping on my sleeping in my vehicle, uh, I'll probably get rid of this tent on the two front doors. It does create some issues here and there. But I got concerned about the privacy and security aspect while doing this. You know, you're doing this for a year. You do run into a few situations where. Uh, it becomes sort of like a viable option. Um, but I did that. I think it's great. It does create quite a bit of privacy. It darkens the interior and it cools it down. Believe it or not, I didn't realize it would do that, but it absolutely cools down the inside. In a hot, sunny day, it is noticeably cooler inside. Um, the other thing I did is grab a one of these 
probably from like Walmart, very cheap. Get, if you do this, get the one with the reflector material on one side and then the matte black on the other so that you can face this outside on the summer days when the sun's out and then flip it around to the matte black at night and in the winter. So that's how you regulate your temperature much better inside the vehicle. All right, the next thing that I think is a great addition and, and modification to the vehicle are these, the, I think some people call them wind deflectors. I, I think they're more like rain deflectors, but when you're sleeping in this, you have to crack the windows and let it ventilate. Especially in the winter, you will build up condensation in this thing and your whole window, every window in this thing will be dripping with condensation. This is, this is the same concept. I'm an avid outdoorsman. It's the same concept. If you ever slept in the tent in cooler winter or cooler weather or the winter, it's the exact same concept. Or even in the summer, you breathing creates so much condensation inside a, an enclosed space. You'd be amazed and it will be dripping everywhere. You will destroy the interior of your vehicle or tent, whatever it is you're doing. So you've got to, I added these, they're weather tech. Uh, there's many brands out there. There's probably way cheaper stuff out there, but I like the weather tech. I added these and you can crack them. They're very low profile and it lets the wind go through and ventilate. But then as if it rains, you now can keep, you can regulate the temperature inside uh, while it's raining. So super handy. I think that was another excellent <laughs> investment of mine. No regrets there. Okay. I'm back over here on the side where the bed is and something I thought I'd show you all before it just downpours. <laughs> it's starting to rain pretty heavy now, but I thought I'd show you all real quick what I was just talking about. So I keep clothing like pants and stuff for work and whatnot. Uh, I got the inverter down there for when I, if I ever, I don't keep my laptop in here. I, like I said, I don't keep anything of high dollar value in here. I store that stuff at people's houses and a storage unit that I have. But that's, as you can see, my charger's down there. And I have a, just a plug-in inverter. I just reach down, grab the cord, plug it in. It's down there and I got my cord down there. So the wires... There's a couple reasons you gotta make this platform. Oh, there's some more pants and stuff. Look, it's kind of dirty in here. Like I said, I do woodworking and stuff and I don't really care. I don't have any nice clothing in here, but uh, you can't see it. But when you take this passenger seat out, you have three, you have a bundle of three wires. You do not wanna crush those. So I made this platform, just slapped it together I, I got the WeatherTech floor mats and I made this so it kind of locks in place. So it's not shifting around while I'm sleeping in it or while I'm driving. This platform stays in place and it's just by it sitting in a groove up here. Once you remove that back, the back bench, it, there's still this shelf where the storage those two storage compartments are underneath. And uh, you, you just can't lay flat until you make a platform right here. Well, it's raining pretty good now. So I think I'll wrap things up right here for now. But if you guys like the video, please, uh, please give it a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna subscribe, that would be great too. Hopefully I get more videos out. And there's no timeline on when I'll get those out. I'm still experimenting, but we'll see how it goes. All right. Thanks for watching.